we go, baby. How you doing, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big Dave Quartz coming in yeah. in style. Good morning, Sunshine. Mm. How you feeling this morning, Dave? Good. Haven't tried to take a step yet, though. Uh, morning, G. I feel like I could kick box a baby kangaroo today. <laughs> Sickly baby kangaroo. drink booze because this trip's too hard and we've got a big day to push up and over the mountains I'd rather be carrying one pound less you empty the booze mm -hmm. wah, wah. morning how you feeling great yeah ready to rip it up today yeah man snow's good attitude's good Weather's good. We're good. Can't beat it. Up on top of uh, Barren Ledges. Woo! Yeah, going up to Barren Ledges was pretty firm and easy. And now we're up uh, just north of there. Snow's a little deeper, a little less consolidated. A little breaking trail, punching through to the knees here and there on the snowshoes. Oh, it feels good to be up here, making good time so far. And uh, it's t-shirt weather, even though it's still in the teens. Let's try to keep from sweating as much as possible. But whew, it's happening. <laughs> Knees and trees, baby. My finer. Snowing hard, feeling good. Making up for some lost time from yesterday. Got a couple more miles to go to the uh, chair back lean to, and we are so. Chair back gap, lean to. Hey Have everyone. You. Hi everybody. Morning. Heading down to the KIW road and then up to Carl Newall. Another 10 mile push today. A little wet. 
It's gonna be warm today. But everybody's feeling pretty good. Halfway there. from Chairback Gap Lean 2 to Carl Newall. Up and over White Cap tomorrow. Made it before the sun went down. Gorgeous light out there on the trail. Sweet Lean 2. We are psyched. Five. Good morning, day five. Woo! Carl Newall, lean two. <laughs> Greg's trying to boil water and sterilize with the oh, steri pen at the same time. Here. Heading up over Whitecap today, over to Logan Brook. Wake up in the morning, go get our resupply, switch over to skis, so David no longer has to have the outriggers, the have the outriggers on his snowshoes. And feeling pretty good. Sunny, blue skies. Here we go. We got sunshine. We got decent snow conditions. This is amazing. battling the tunnel everything's at like waist tight or above we're just schwacking Yeah, this is burly. Deep, deep snow on the north side of Whitecap. Heading down to Logan Brook. Everybody's wet and kind of miserable, but trudging along. Ooh. 
All right, just rolled into Logan Brook. <sighs> Wet, cold. <laughs> Plenty of time though to get warm before tomorrow. That was a burly day. It was a big day. Yeah. At least we're out of the sun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, about 7.30, just rolling out of camp. Typical, I'm the last one out of camp, but I just let Greg and David break trail for me so then they can seem like I'm faster than I am. Uh, but heading down just a mile and a half to our resupply, woo-hoo! Sykes to get out of the snowshoes, onto the skis, out of the pack and into the duffel on the sled. And uh, yeah, big day today. We are out of the mountains, pretty psyched. First five days were burly. Thank you so much. Yes. Just when we thought this would be getting easier, I think it got harder. Yeah, yeah, I would say yes. Yeah, yeah, we're all psyched about sleds and skis, and then we got 200 feet off the uh, Logan Brook Road. And In one hour. Yeah, blow down after blow down after blow down after blow down after blow down. We got GB up there with the ax, clearing our way, he's the man. We are altering course. We thought we could make it down to the East Branch on the trail. No go. We are skiing back up to the road. We're gonna hop on the road for a while. After what we've done, we deserve some easy miles on a snowmobile trail. We're gonna take it. Yeah, this will be nice. Oh, cause that sucked. Yeah, just go to the boat launch. That's awesome. Skiing across B Pond, trying to hook up with the road that'll take us up to Crawford Pond and back onto the AT. See how it goes. Gosh, I tell you what though, every single part of this trip has just been a guessing game. Conditions seem to change every five minutes. And we're just rolling with the punches. Oh, we got something. There's a teeny bit of a hole there where Greg's about to cross. Yeah, baby. All right, I'll start day, day seven. seven. Yeah. yeah, it's cold and damp. And, and yeah, cold. And Real cold. Damn. And damn. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping for some big mileage today. Here we go.
Oh, what's Greg doing off the trail? Oh, just picking up the bottle of whiskey that he stashed this fall for us, because he's the man. Couple fun crossings. Dave's having fun. <laughs> warm but the snow just is like so soft and so crappy even with the skins on the skis it's uh super slow and hard going and we're gonna stay at Potawajo for the night we were thinking about heading further but we're all kind of worked so um good day so far i mean every day is a new challenge this one is no different but uh just keep on moving Oh yeah. All right, just getting ready this morning. Day eight. Day eight. Potawajo no, Spring. Day seven. Day eight. It is. <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> yep. Snow at Potawajo this morning. We're gonna head across uh, a little snowmobile trail along Namaconta Stream, and then across Namaconta. Try to make it to Rainbow, Rainbow Brook, Rainbow Stream, lean to tonight. Here we go. Ready for another good day. Another good snowy wet day. I'm ready to put on my frozen boots. Frozen boots. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. <laughs> oh, that's so cold. <laughs> that went as far as it goes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the wet is sucking. Oh my god, yeah, my feet are high. I might as well just have to throw on my sucking wet socks. <sighs> oh, yeah. Everyone, come to New England. Come to the 100 Mile Wilderness. It's mellow, it's easy. <laughs> Alright. Day 8. Starting off okay. Well, that was one of the sweetest scores ever. Didn't even think about the White House landing. We saw smoke coming out of the chimney stack. And when we got over there, the door was locked and said it was closed. And then uh, Trapper came walking up and gave us some big licks and then his owner, Linda, right behind him she'd uh, been hearing about our trip thanks to good to go which was super cool she'd been following along and saw we'd made it through the mountains and now she's giving us the good bait on the snowmobile trails to get over to namaconta but wow that was so nice being able to take our boots off warm up by the fire 
dry off our socks, drink some hot chocolate, some muffins and brownies. I got some cookies. Oh, that was glorious. Tough decisions out here. Do we want to break trail through these huge drifts? Or should we follow David out onto the lake? I vote. I vote for the latter. Just about off of uh, Namakonta here. Sun's coming out just a little bit. Beautiful day. GB and David over there. Try not to fall while I'm holding the camera. About three and a half miles along Namakonta. Pretty sweet traveling. Oh yeah. Way better than snowmobile trails. Core, it's coming in hot! Look out! Like a rock star. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. Rainbow stream lean to. Moving in. Moving in. All right. Might be the last night here. Contemplating going out to Herd Brook and all the way out to Abel tomorrow. Cold, damp. I think we're ready. Got uh, some good to go pad thai warming up in my belly and a hot water bottle. Life's good. David's cozy. Get a close up of that face and the wet boots. Oh that yeah. Was good. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> All right. Day nine. Just cruised up a couple miles from camp and we're out on Rainbow Lake. There's a bright, shiny thing in the sky. We think it's the sun. It feels good. All right, the fun's not over yet. Off of Rainbow Lake and finding our way through Herd Brook. Uh, you remember how we were just on Rainbow Lake and it was super nice and easy? Yeah, not so much anymore. We are three miles from the road. The last 3.7 have been typical. Oh, after like a day and a half of easy travel on snowmobile trails and lakes, we knew we had this coming to us. Well, I think we've pretty much tackled anything that this 100 mile wilderness can throw at us. You know? So. Yeah. Knock on wood. Yeah, knock on wood. Just saw a move. We're very optimistic. You gotta be. Oh, oh shit, dude. Oh. I got the sled, I got the sled. All right, Greg says this is the last uphill. You better be right. Yeah. From one sign to another. Yeah, baby. 
Yeah. Yeah.